Hey everybody, Tony D with a hot take, and uh, this one is about those wacky Antifa guys. Now, they say it was just a bunch of protesters who went down and defaced this statue in Philadelphia. Uh, as you can see from the picture, uh, he appears to be a colonial gentleman. Uh, he's actually uh, a little later than that. He, he was born in the 1800s. He was born in 1795. And this was all during the uh, Black Lives Matter protests. So obviously, this man must be some horrible racist, right? Oh, well, who is he? His name is Matthias Baldwin, a famous abolitionist. Idiots wrote colonizer on the pedestal of his statue. Do you idiots know what an abolitionist even is? He was against slavery. Let's go to the Wikipedia. Born in 1795. No, he wasn't one of the founding fathers. He made a lot of money, became a locomotive builder during the times when railroads were growing across the United States. He built the first commissioned steam locomotive for the fledgling Philadelphia Germantown Norristown Railroad. And he was a devout member of the Presbyterian Church. Oh, I know, leftist. I know, Antifa. You hate people who go to church. They're evil people. But he was a consistent donor to religious and secular charitable causes throughout his life. In 1824, he was a founder of the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. Yeah, what a horrible guy. Sure glad somebody defaced his statue. In 1835, he donated money to establish a school for African-American children in Philadelphia and continued to pay the teacher's salary out of his own pocket for years thereafter. God, what a racist. Baldwin was an outspoken supporter for the abolition of slavery in the United States, a position that was used against him and his firm by competitors eager to, eager to sell locomotives to railroads based in the slave-holding South. Does that sound familiar? Does that sound familiar to you woke tards on Twitter? That someone who took a political position got canceled for it because the mob didn't agree with his position. Oh, but you woke idiots, you know. You know so much, you defaced a statue and wrote colonizer on it when the guy did everything for his entire life to fight slavery. This is what you get when you get a mob. When you get a group of young, stupid, moronic, dim-witted college students who don't know their basic history, who can't go to a Wikipedia page on their phones, which they all have, for 10 seconds to go, wait a minute, before we deface this statue, who is this guy? Oh wait, he's an abolitionist. Everyone, that's an okay statue. That's what should have happened, but no, let's be dickheads. Let's deface the statue in the middle of Black Lives Matter of a famous abolitionist, not famous enough that everybody would know, but famous that he had a statue, and let's deface it and write colonizer on it. It's no wonder the park rangers are beside themselves over this. You idiots. You morons. <sighs> he defended voting rights for the state's black citizens. In 1837. Not a popular time to be defending black voting rights. Oh, but you wouldn't know that from World War II or the Civil War because you woke idiots didn't study history. You're just too busy trying to say, look how wonderful and virtuous I am. I ruined a statue, everyone. Everybody's racist but me. No. This guy, at the time of his death, he um, donated 
10% of his company's income to Civil War Christian Mission in the early 1860s to help people. His entire life, and even after his death, he did nothing but good works. And you woke, stupid sheep, ruin his statue because you think you're doing something noble. You owe an apology to the city of Philadelphia and to the family of Baldwin. You owe an apology and you should apologize. You should apologize publicly and you should pay reparations for the statue because this man did everything in his life to fight slavery and to help people. And you morons defaced his statue and tried to paint him. Everybody in history is a racist to your morons. Everyone. Even a guy who spent his entire life fighting slavery. You have no moral high ground. None. Your riots, your protests will go down in history for what it is. A cynical attempt to elect Democrats. And you will not have changed a single thing because of it.